Good day everyone. Today's video I will show you how to model a cool looking building step by step in Revit. Okay, so in this project I use the architectural template. Okay. And I set this project into millimeters okay so now here i am in revit so first thing i will do is to command rp for the shortcut okay i rename it this into one and this is two Okay, so now, please don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to this channel. So it's helped me out a lot to stay this kind of tutorial and especially everyone updated once I make a video tutorial like this. Okay, so now I go to South to set the all the level so i want to drag it all the way left and right okay so now i just set this into for thousand two hundred or four point two meters pick the level i just want to add a level create similar use the pick line and set it into four thousand two hundred okay so we have a pipe level here okay so this is the part one okay so now what i'm going to do next is to go now into the command reference plane or rp for the shortcut okay i set this into 15 meters Okay, pick this mm to mirror it in the other side and now i just go into massing inside okay i just simply change this into pine and wireframe okay so i just go into in place mass okay hit okay and i just simply use the pick line and now asking for the reference okay I choose the reference plane one and I just simply pick this okay and all of the level okay so what I'm going to do next is to go to play arc okay and if you see in the top okay bar Okay, I just enable or check this radius and I just set this into 2.1 M. Okay, and I simply start from here. Okay, but before that, command SL to split first this two. Okay, then also this one. Okay, so SL to split the lines okay and now I just go to arc and I just simply pick this okay so to one okay pick this okay okay so now, once you have this, okay, double click all of this. Okay, you need to clean it all. Okay. So. TL, okay, to the thin line. So, so once I'm editing the all of the mass so it's uh, more clear to each and every lines okay 
So now what I'm going to do next is to command OF. Okay. And I just want to set this into 350. Okay. 350. Okay. And now TR for the shortcut to close it. This. Okay. So go to line, close this, okay. TR again. Okay. So once you have this, okay, go to 3D, okay. And pick this, okay, create form, solid form. Okay. And for now, I just set this into 20 meters okay use the control shift to rotate it and check everything okay so now i think it's okay i just go into architecture and i just choose the floor okay and i just simply use the pick Okay, and I start adding floor here. Okay. And also here. Okay. So TR for the shortcut. Okay. And you need to duplicate. Okay, duplicate this. And of course, the thickness, you can change it later, okay? So hit finish, okay? So I just simply pick this, okay? Copy, align selected level, level two, okay? To more clear, you need to adjust it into realistic, okay? So to make it uh, visible all, okay? And you double click the wall or the sorry the flooring delete this and use the pick line okay and align it in and now you can use the tr for the shortcut okay and hit finish okay pick this copy paste align selected label label 3 okay you can rotate it okay so to counter check okay so it's okay so copy paste align selected label for okay and now copy paste align selected level five so you already complete here okay So now we need some adjustment here, okay? Double click this, okay? DE, okay? And use the pick again and pick this TR, okay? To close this, okay? And hit finish, but okay. And I check, I pick the wall, okay, and I choose the store front, edit type, okay, duplicate store front 2, okay. 
So, no any adjustment for here. Okay, and hit. Okay, and now I just simply use the pick. Okay. And now in this part, I want this. that this storefront is aligned to that arc or angle, okay? So just simply delete all of this. Use now the peak line, okay? Okay. TR for the shortcut, okay? And now hit finish, okay? Delete element. So you can see now this one, okay? So, now, we need to add again into the other level, okay? So, again, use the or it's better right click this create similar okay pick and pick this one okay double click it to go inside de for the shortcut and use the pick and pick it in this level okay, tr for the shortcut Okay, and hit finish. Okay, delete element. Okay. So now I just want to add again some store brand in the other side, okay, or other floor. But before that, I just want to adjust first this one. Okay, so I just go into level one. And you can see, you can adjust it here to nine. Okay, 1,700. Okay, so the store brand is adjust, automatically adjust, okay? So now go into, go back into the three, to 3D, okay? Pick this, okay? Copy, align, or align to selected level 2. Okay? So... You can double click it this, okay? Double click DE for the shortcut, use the pick line, okay? Pick this, okay? TR to close it. Okay, and here, there is some adjustment here. For now, I just simply use a line here. All the way up, okay, and DE and TR to close it this and hit finish delete element, okay. Again, pick this, okay, copy, paste, align to selected label or Okay, paste, align selected level 3, okay, so now there is some adjustment again here, double, so it's okay, here, 
Oh, so here double click this, okay? DE to delete, use again the pick line, pick this, okay? DE, okay, TR. Hit finish delete element okay and here again adjustment double click this okay de okay use the peak okay and tr to close TR okay and hit finish okay delete element so now what I'm going to do next is to oh there is some one more here so it's okay double click this delete this use the pick again okay tr tr hit delete element okay Now, I just want to make uh, or add some design in this uh, shape of the building, okay? So, to do that one, okay, I just go into massing inside. I just choose the wall, okay, and I just search this wall too, okay? And I just simply pick this, okay? And now, I just go to side, okay? Now, I just set this into 10 meters, okay? And now, if I go to 3D again, so this is, use the control shape, okay, to rotate it. So this is what he look already. Okay, so this is the end of the part one of this video. Please uh, view the complete tutorial for this uh, building shape design because I make this as a complete tutorial adding more furniture structures including the stair and other uh, creative walls around this building including the site uh, design for this one so this is the end of the part one of this uh, tutorial and please don't forget to like share or subscribe see you again in part two of this video thank you and God bless you all.